All right, in this video, I'll be showing how to make pigeon biryani. We make it with a mint chutney or you know, um, green chutney. We make it first and then make into a biryani. So this is wood pigeon, there's a breast. So basically this is a pigeon, the wood pigeon. I just lined it here. You have to carefully clean it. There should be no feathers. You, when you buy it from, uh, you know, fresh from the market, there is feathers. So you need to wash it at least three or four times to make sure it's clean. And I just lined it. You know, you can follow my other recipe, like how I do the tandoori whole chicken. So the same way it's it's lined so that all the marination can go. One, I kept it whole so I can use it for presentation. The rest, I cut it. So for the first marinade, this is around 50 gram of uh, garlic, 50 gram of ginger and uh, 20 gram of um, black pepper, whole black pepper. Crush into a paste and I'm just going to marinate it. And the paste has around 20 gram of cloves as well, whole cloves. So everything is, you know, grind it to a smooth paste. Now lemon juice, two tablespoons, salt. It's best to add one uh, teaspoon. We can adjust later if you want it. So to make the chutney for the biryani with the pigeon, I use uh, mint leaf, coriander, washed together one part of mint and five part of coriander coriander leaf no stems used two and things to go inside is uh, four small uh, green chili one small teaspoon of whole pepper three garlic cloves peeled and then one teaspoon of fennel along with that add a handful of uh, roasted peanuts salted peanut you can use because this gives a uh, thickness or if you want to use uh, fried cashew nut also you can use the similar amount so add it into the and make it so to start cooking the the pigeon i'm added on half a cup of ghee that is clarified butter let it melt and now adding the marinated pigeon one by one let it sear Now saute, and sure all sides are here nicely and cook for at least two minutes like this. Saute, saute for two minutes. I'm adding turmeric powder, one uh, teaspoon and now adding coriander powder, three teaspoon. Adding salt, a quarter of a teaspoon we can say, and crushed black pepper powder, around one teaspoon, saute it for another minute. Now adding yogurt, that's a thick Greek yogurt, beaten, around 300 grams, saute gently. Now you should not break the the pieces as it's getting cooked. Cook it with the yogurt for one more minute. Now adding fried onion and two handful. It should be around 50, 50 to 100 grams. Mix it. Now add hot water. Just enough to cover halfway through we can cover and cook it because if it's too much uh, liquid you know it, it'll be hard for us it'll be hard for us to reduce and you know uh, get the desired uh, consistency for the sauce so this should be enough now we're going to cover and cook it for at least half an hour on a slow flame so now I'm adding um, I took out all the meat and I kept it separate it needs at least two hour cooking because the pigeon is tough uh, it needs slow cooking. Now I'm adding 300 ml of cream to the sauce. So once the cream is reduced in the sauce, I'm adding the green chutney paste. Now to mix it, cook it for a minute. So now I remove half of the sauce, I'm putting back the, the pieces, the pigeon for a one layer. Sprinkle some fried onion some coriander and uh, mint leaf, just break and put it. And now I'm adding a layer of rice. So now put the whole ones on the top. 
put the remaining sauce on the top. Layer with egg, boiled egg. Sprinkle uh, mint leaf and coriander and uh, fried onions. Cover with rice again. Repeat the layers, same way what you did before. Finish with the, the sauce on the top. And we cook and cover it at least for 15 minutes on a very slow flame. Cover with aluminum foil on the top and then we put the lid so the steam will, you know, get trapped properly. Cover it. So after 15 minutes, we can open slowly. Full steam intact.